I was walking down the street with my wife, Patricia, and she stumbled. To most, that would be an innocent occasion. To us, it was terrifying. She had lost three aunts to a disease known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The disease is a terrible journey as your muscles begin to fail because the motor neurons are dying. The motor neuron is the nerve that connects the brain to the muscle through the spinal cord or from the base of the spinal cord. When they die, the muscles cease to function and paralysis is progressive. Eventually, the muscles of your diaphragm will fail and you will cease to breathe and die. She knew all this, but where do we go from there? We began the journey of requiring support and assistance. And it was the ALS Society, then of Ontario, and now known as ALS Society of Canada, that moved to support us. Patricia wanted to die at home, and with a prognosis of anywhere from two to five years normally, one does not want to spend that time in the hospital. So we required at home, during the course of the journey as she progressively paralyzed, somewhere in the order of $100,000 worth of equipment as she moved along. Equipment to the, keep her mobile, such as a wheelchair, a motorized wheelchair, equipment to aid in the home, such as stair lift, equipment to enable her to shower, and bathe and to get in and out of bed. The ALS Society helped us with their equipment loan program. In the meantime, they were also helping others and through their ventures, awareness was occurring across the country. This is but one society of the health partners that does this sort of coast to coast support of people with their disease. ALS would not have been as manageable or the quality of life anywhere near as good without the support of the ALS Society. My name is Nigel Van Loo and I am living proof that donating to health partners works.